size pattern for a bikini bottom just like I did the other one um, and we're working with two pieces of um, of poster board here because that's all that I have left but I can still do a thong and I can still do a full back for you with the poster board and I'm going to do a bikini top a triangle bikini top for you also with this one here oh, oh no 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 a halter I probably do a halter I think halters are really cute a real basic halter for you. Um, so I'm going to do a basic halter and I'm going to do one panty. That's what we're going to do with this pattern right here. So that's what we're going to do right now. <laughs> Said that about a thousand times. Huh? My poster board. There you go. Okay, and remember to like, subscribe, and share so everyone else can learn how to sew too. You know, don't keep me a secret. I have people that do that sometimes. Like, I'm not telling nobody about you. Like, why would you do that? It's all, I'm going to help you too anyways. Always. I'm always here to help. It's my name, you know. Okay, so now what we're going to do is basically we're going to draw a big wine glass here. It's not going to be hard. So I can do some my chin on it, right? It's so easy. We have the closed part here, right? This is the poster board. Boom. Pat, right? Boom, boom, pat, like young GZ say. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to draw up from the very bottom here. Yeah. I like wide crotches just because. I just think, you know, it gives you more room to do whatever. And then we're going to go out and go diagonal and go straight across up here. Just like that, okay? And now we have, see that? The wine glass, right? The wine glass I'm going to talk about. <laughs> okay, now we are going to cut out the wine glass, y'all. Okay, I'm going to show you what else this wine glass do too. In a second. Oh, another thing you want to do, do not use your... Uh, fabric scissors for paper. Your fabric scissors are not for paper. And if you buy a pair of Fiskars, you can get your, um, you can buy a, a, a scissor sharpener that comes with Fisker scissors. F-I-S-K-A-R-S. Fiskars, they have a sharpener for their scissors. Do not use your scissors for um, this right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get your kids something. Just, you know, grab something your kids got. And that's what you do. Don't use this. Don't use scissors, like, you know. Okay, now, we're going to open it up. Boom, booty, 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 rocking everywhere, right? And then, we're going to pull this up like this. Bam. And there we go. We got a plus size panty for that motherfucking ass. Yes. Look up, 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 look up. Now, this part in the front is going to look like a tiny thong, okay? So when you pull that up in the front, it'll look like the panty is like itty bitty. And then you got the big booty on it. 
boom, 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 boom. Bop, 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 bop. And you can also cut it wider too. You know, if you wanted the wide cut, you can do that also. Now, we're gonna do a cute top halter real fast for this. Okay. We're gonna do plus size halter. So what we're gonna do is, we are going to fold this in half this way. And what you're going to do is, gonna start cutting without drawing because I'm so used to doing this I don't have to um, draw anymore you know but I have to draw for you guys it's very important that I do so that's that's what I'm doing right now <laughs> okay now what we're going to do is let's turn it this way because this accidentally got dragged outside <laughs> Where my plants are. So, all right. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to draw this right here, a U shape. Then you're going to draw a, I'm going to show this to you guys in two seconds. You will see. Okay. This is what you want to draw. Okay. Don't worry about what it is right now. Just draw it. That's your best bet. <laughs> your best bet is just to draw. This is the neck. This is the underarm. This is the underbust. Okay. You're going to take your binder and you're going to run that up just like you do a bikini top. All right. And same thing here. And you're going to bind here. So you have two strings in the back. Okay. Or you can cut it into a complete triangle like this and have one string running off the back. All depends on what you want to do. Like I say, if you want to learn techniques and evolution of this, Come to my class, 2544 McClave Drive, Suite 207, Exotics Lingerie, and Chakra with Beauty. <laughs> so here you go, and I'm going to cut this out right now. This is a plus size halter top, and I'm going to do a smaller halter top right here for the smaller girls. And we're going to cut this out. Remember, it's folded in half. Your paper's folded in half. It should be. All right, I'm going to turn this into a two string and a one string for those who want to see what a, who, who want to do the two string thingy. I'm going to show you how to cut that out with this. This is the two string method right here where you're going to have the two, like one string coming off here, one string coming off here. You're going to bind that here, you know, put your trim here, bind it, your binder trim, your binder strip. You're gonna bind that together. Then you're gonna run that off and then run that off. And then same thing here, then run that off like a bikini top and this goes around the neck and then run it off on the other side, same thing. And then I'll show you how to do it with just one string where it just comes down and that one just goes off, okay? And I can show you how to loop it to where you can make it to where it's a, a, a corset top show you how to do that too and we'll get into grommets later i'll show you guys how to put grommets on stuff where you can run string through things mm -hmm. and i'll show you guys how to make some no sew bikinis make bikinis that don't need to be sewn how to work with fabric where you can make this stuff without um without sewing it Mm -hmm. Just knowing what raw edge is good, what fabric is good for raw edges. Make it cute.
Okay, now. Okay, we're gonna, oh, we are gonna keep this. So you wanna keep this, this came from here. You wanna keep that, that's good for pattern too. We can make um, two triangle bikini tops with this. I'll show you. So now you open this up. See that? But for plus size, right? It looks like a crown, <laughs> right? You see that? How that works out, then you're gonna run it up. Tie that around the neck, however thick you wanna do it, whatever you wanna do. Okay, you can also scrunch this together and make your own double. We'll get into that later too. If you want technique, if you want to see, if you want me to help you do this and really show you what this stuff do, what this stuff does, and how to make this stuff evolve. Okay, twenty five forty four McClave, Doraville, Georgia, Suite two zero seven. Okay, now we're gonna do it to where this is with the two string. So you have the string coming off and the string coming off and the binder here. I'm gonna use my store keys so you can see. Binder here, right? Binder here and there. And then you know this come off the back and this come off the neck. You know, right? All right, now I'm gonna show you how to do it to where you can just have the one. So you want to now just cut the corners off, these corners, you want to cut that corner right off. And just run it up to where it's even. Okay, same thing here, cut that corner completely off. where it's completely even now when you do it you run the one run the one finish it right off here and then run that other one off like a bikini top bow do it just like a bikini top see how that is so you're going to run that one in here right and then you're going to run that one right off but it's not like that it's to the side okay Now, if you want to be real cute, you can do this. Cut this off. Because if you want to be fancy, if you want to evolve this a little bit more, it depends on how much material you have to spare for one outfit. How much material you have to spare for one outfit. Okay, you'll now take this. You want to even this out. Like that right now you're gonna take this and you want to cut this out right and you're gonna take these after you finish them finishing them is easy you just go around the edge Finish them, right? Or you can just add loops, whatever you want to do. With this, I'm just doing this so I don't have to hold them and put loops on it, but you can cut it off and then you can cut these off and then put these back on the loops. See that? Because then you can add thread. You can add thread through here, okay? Or chain or whatever the case may be. See that? So this is here. Okay. And you can also do this. All right. Cut it off completely at the bottom. Okay. 
turn this into the string, you know, and boom. Okay. So slow it down. Pause my movie. You know, pause this thing, whatever, and then do it whatever suits you. And catch this however you want to catch it. And you just got about five or six patterns out of one piece of paper. Mm -hmm. All plus size. And don't forget, we got a panty. <laughs> we got a panty. And if you don't want this to be a panty, turn it into a thong. Put that right in the butt. Okay, remember how to make that. Okay, you can wear it forward. Okay, or you can wear it backwards. However you want to wear it. But this is a forward one. If you want to wear it backwards, just thin this out. And you'll be fine. And this is the top. So there you go. There you go.